This is the Football Radio Show Sunday Six Pack. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Six Pack where we crack open six of the tastiest stories in the NFL. Don't mind if I do. All right. Okay, we will get to the 49ers' big win in overtime and the Cardinals winning but possibly losing Carson Palmer. But we'll go back to Thursday night to get the show started. Six. Where the Browns dominated the Bengals winning 24-3. Yeah, awesome football game by the Browns, over 50 rushes. That defense for the Browns finally showed up. They yeah. shut the Bengals down, brother. And Andy Dalton, one of the worst football Epically games horrible, dude. I've ever seen. If I'm coach, I'm like, just hand the ball off. I've seen enough. But the Browns, dude, winning big football games in November. Yeah, they're all alone in first place in a really tough division. Congratulations, Browns. Number five. All right, up next, it was the Dolphins at the Lions. The Lions win 20-16. to and late, dude, in this game, <laughs> the Dolphins block a field goal. Dude, Lions have had awful field oh, goals this right. year. Dolphins block one. The next play, they turn it into a touchdown. We're like, oh, that is the turning yeah. point in this Mark game. Mark the tape, you know. Wow. But not the case. The Lions mm-hmm. answered here. Matthew Stafford drives them back for the game-winning touchdown, hits Theo Riddick uh, very late in this game, and a huge win for the Lions, man. They are headed in the right direction. Yeah, four in a row and seven and two. You got a healthy Megatron, dude. Life is looking good for the Lions. Big time, dude. All right. And awesome defense, huh? Okay, up next. Number four. It's the San Francisco 49ers at the New Orleans Saints. A battle of four and four squads in the NFC. And this one was an overtime victory, 27 to 24 for the 49ers. Yeah, dude. Craziness. Fourth and ten. Kaepernick finds Crabtree on a 51-yarder to set up the gang-tying field goal. Saints and Niners both get a possession in OT. Then the sack fumble of the breeze sets up the game winner by the Niners. Yeah, man. And the Niners get up to 5-4, and four, and they were literally desperate for this win. In their division, they're in third place. They are just hanging on. They needed this bad. And then the Saints, they dropped to 4-5. and five. Not so bad for the Saints. And Cozy in, in the NFC South. NFC South, oh. that is not very good. Oh, uh, they're still right in the mix there. Number three. All right, up next, it was the Chiefs at the Bills. The Chiefs win this one 17-13, and Dave, the Bills had plenty of opportunities to put the Chiefs away today and just couldn't do it. Yeah, the Bills got to be kicking themselves right now, man. Very disappointing to let this one get away. They really looked like they had every opportunity to win this ball game, but critical turnovers in the red zones. Oh. One looked like they're going in for an easy touchdown. Bryce Brown, baby. Oh. Boom, cough it up. That negates a touchdown for the Bills. And then on the other side of the field, they cough it up. Uh, on a punt and sets up the Chiefs. Easy, quick touchdown for the Chiefs. And unfortunately for the Bills, they let one slip away, and the Chiefs are headed in the right direction. They are to be reckoned with. Yeah, the Bills, dude. Four red zone trips today and only six points out of them. Brutal. Number two. Up next it is the scorching hot Steelers in the <laughs> lock of the week going to New York to play the woeful New York Jets. Of course, it's the NFL, Casey. We said going in. As all all the locks that there were, this one was it. But this is the NFL, baby, and the Jets come away with a big win, twenty to thirteen. Dude, the Steelers pound the Colts. They crush the Ravens. <laughs> and all the Jets, no problem. No, the Jets get up seventeen nothing early in this game, dude. And Mike Vick's actually put together a couple of really good games back to back. And you got to think, dude, if you're the Jets, if this cat started Week One, yeah. They'd at least be 4-4 four and four right there in the mix. Instead, all they're doing is going to screw up that top 10 draft pick. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and when you figure with all the – everybody's jobs on the line like they were, they would have put out, uh, you know, the best possible team to, to, to make the playoffs or to at least accumulate wins. Uh, so we'll see how this ends up uh, going here. But like you said, screw up that draft pick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Number one. <laughs> All right, up next, it was the Rams at the Cardinals. The Cardinals pull away late. They went 31-14 day, but it was late in the fourth quarter. Yeah. The Rams up 14-10. Carson Palmer goes down. It's not looking good for the Cards. No, luckily, Drew Stanton came out, and he performed very well. He finds John Brown uh, for the go-ahead touchdown. And then, really, the, the Cardinals defense just took over from there. Patrick Peterson, two fourth-quarter picks. And then uh, Cromartie able to scoop up. A, a loose ball on a sack fumble and take that in for the touchdown. So they end up uh, looking like they sort of handled handled the game, but it was actually a lot closer than the scoreboard would have shown. But really an unfortunate situation for Cardinals fans uh, if Carson Palmer is is significantly injured. Yeah, dude, they think it's the ACL, and if it is, that's probably his season there. 
And the Cards are lucky they've got a few wins between them and the, uh, the <laughs> Seahawks right. and the Niners. I mean, climbing. they've done a great job really overcoming injuries mm -hmm. all season long. And they even uh, played well without Carson Palmer for two games earlier in the season. But uh, th this will be for the remainder. And, uh, you know, this will be a tough one to overcome. Brutal. Okay. That is going to do it for this episode of the Sunday Six Pack. But don't forget, check us out at footballradioshow.com. We've got the Trend Zone, Game Plan, and Three and Out. All of those shows coming at you. And go ahead and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at FootballRS. All right. He's Casey. I'm Dave. FootballRadioShow.com.